What is going on guys? Thanks for stopping back here to the channel. If it's your first time here, go ahead and get down there and smash that subscribe button. Okay, it has been a minute since I have uploaded. I've been focusing on some other stuff and um, if you guys don't know, I own Welding Riggers, the Instagram page. Um, and I went and have been trying to get um, my business up and running with that and get everything settled with that and get my own apparel line going and just getting the business side of that set up and rolling besides just the Instagram side. So I've been focusing on that for the past three months since I uploaded anything. So, but we got getting ready to go into the new year here. We've got um, several things already lined up for the channel and some videos we will be making throughout the year so far and what we at least have lined up. But today I'm going to be uh, fixing the truck on something that did it through a check engine light. It's been throwing several lately and I didn't record the one. It was throwing stuff for the, the def system and it threw one for the injector when I was camping and I cleared it and it went off and then it threw something for the nitrous oxide sensor behind the def sensor or the def injector on the exhaust system. So I replaced the def sensor not sensor injector the def injector and i have had no issues with that and now all of a sudden i got another check engine light and it was something else and it said it was diesel air intake intake flow position sensor some something like that either way i looked it up and everything that i looked up said it was the egr valve and there's a slide rod in that that slides back and forth to do your regen and stuff like that and it's got soot in it and it is causing that to not slide back and forth so today we are going to be going and removing that and letting it soak and get all the gunk out of it um i washed it and it says an egr cleaner but it was 30 dollars a quart so and i've seen a couple other videos where guys just use hot water and degreaser put it in it let it sit for a couple hours and then come back and it works perfectly fine um so we're going to be tearing into that today and hopefully getting rid of that check engine light and putting all this deaf crap behind us and not having any more issues for a long time with it. So we are going to be pulling that off, cleaning that today and doing that guys. So, um, yeah, so if you had that code, um, I will put the code number on the screen that came up with it. And like I said, everything that I found, EGR valve, um, the slide rod is, um, got too much soot in there and it is not working properly so we're going to take it out clean it and get it back installed and she should be good so let's jump into getting it removed Okay, I did forget to hit the record button. Literally just pulled this out, pulled this out of here, and I compressed it, and there's two little keys that go on top of this through the rod that holds that in place. And you can see we are pretty dirty, and you should be able to slide it back and forth with your finger, and I'm pushing on it right now and it is not moving a bit. So it is definitely, definitely not working properly. So I'm gonna go and I got some um, cleaner over here. I got some super clean degreaser in a bottle. I'm gonna fill it up with hot, hot water and then spray it in there and let it soak for a while. I'm going to prop it up that way it can all hold i'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours let her go and soak in there get all good and clean and then i'll do it out and if i need to do it again i can do it again and if not i won't so
Okay guys, it has been um, a couple weeks since I went and cleaned my EGR valve on the truck and it went and drove for about a day or about 80 miles and the check in joint came back on throwing the same code. So, not, so it did not fix it, but as you guys can see in the video, it definitely needed clean and the video that I, the part where I showed dumping out all the soot was actually the second time that I dumped it, not the first. So it was even worse than that. But it's nice to know that that's clean. But in the next video that you guys see, because I don't know how long this one's going to be, we are going to go ahead and pull off the your uh, elbow here and your throttle body is right here because the code that is throwing is uh, intake air position sensor which everything i looked up said uh throttle body but everything that i also looked up said clean your egr valve first so i cleaned the egr valve it's still doing it so i'm gonna take this off and try to clean it the best that i can clean the sensor that's in the back which i already did that once but i'm gonna do it a little better this time and clean it all and hopefully <clears throat> hopefully get it fixed and get the check engine light gone and so yes yeah, so i'll show you guys how to take all that off and clean that in the next video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i showed you guys how to do something simple but we're able to get it taken care of hopefully this has helps you uh clean your egr valve and see how how it is and how easy it is to do the hardest part is getting the little pins back in when you have to compress it and get those little two magnetic pins back in but once you get that in you are uh good and set so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do go ahead and get on there and smash that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in the next video have a blessed day everyone